Hi. So in this video, I'll show you how to practice HTML, CSS within Visual Studio or in Chrome. So first of all, you need to create one folder. In that folder, right click and click on this open with code. If you don't have this option, then you can manually open the VS code like this and then open a folder in file menu you can see open folder from here you can select the folder which you created just now in the personal we have made new folder and we have selected that folder ok now our vs code is ready here i am using an extension called live server with this extension you can directly give the output to chrome so he can you, here you can see live output so i am using live server extension and also you can use html preview extension both are very nice for projects practicing in vs code ok now here is our empty folder now first of all I will create one new file so click on this plus icon and then write any name you can write uh, any file name so I am, I am giving index.html first of all I will write html boilerplate code so second one you select so here you will get some code no need to worry about that if you want to zoom text here you can enable that one in settings in settings you can type zoom here then you enable this one so that while pressing control if you scroll the mouse so here it is saying auto renaming is there so controls whether editors are linked symbols html tag while editing okay i am enabling that option no problem now i want to write one h1 tag so write h1 and press enter inside that just write hello world and save this file i have enabled format on save option in my settings so that when i click on save it will automatically so this option is enabled so even if you give formatting like this so even if you write like this then also your code will automatically formatted properly now this is the html preview option here only you can see the preview so i will hide this one so right here you can see the output if you write h2 and write some matter immediately you will get the output this is one type of option we have another one is in the chrome so for that we have an extension called live server html preview means this one live server extension if you enable then you can see this option go live so in the left side i will keep vs code in the right side i am giving chrome so here it is asking some access so I will allow that one ok now output is coming here now let's try to make some changes so I have added a paragraph tag and uh, lorem and enter so if you press enter and save this one so you can see this matter is coming here but here you can see the page is very much uh, lengthy to disable that one you need an option in the view menu you can see word wrap if you enable word wrap then your code will not go out of screen so everything will be wrapped inside your current screen so you need to only scroll up and down no need to see lines no need to horizontally scroll so i will change this title save then immediately your title is updating like this using live server you can immediately see the output okay 
so let's try to add some more tags table tr td i will duplicate this one and a tr also i will duplicate save then you can see this table but it is not looking like a table that's why i will add one border attribute save so here you can see the border and similarly if you want to write some css let's write some css here you can write css in the header tag also so table comma td floor brackets border one pixel solid blue black save then same border so here i will write border collapse collapse save then here double border will change into single one and also you can add some padding if you want 20 pixel padding i added after saving immediately right side output will get updated save like this so like this you can write html css and javascript in this and you can immediately see the output in real time no need to save and refresh this page manually and in the live server here you can see html and css only some limitations will be there in this type of preview but in chrome you can see exact output this one also will have some limitations so it cannot access upper folders so it can only access this new folder it cannot access some files in the other folders parent folders so that would be a problem for that problem you have to manually open this file by double clicking on that you can directly open that file but it will not be updated in real time so if you use live server then whenever you save in the code it will get updated in real time okay that's it